Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, presentando Rigoberto Hermosillo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the top featherweight contender, Mark Magnifico Maxayo. It's his favorite part, he loves more. There's a whipping right cross by Maxayo. He whipped that right into the body of Hermosillo. So and there's that right hook by Hermosillo, and it's going to suffer what I'm going to talk about in the keys to victory. There's a straight right that backed up Hermosillo. Two big right hands clobbering Hermosillo. Wild Matsayo has been in the past four years ago. Big right hand that backed up Hermosillo. He's he clocked him. He had him rocked. Boy, if he hits him again with something sharp like that. Could be lights out from the power punching from Matsayo. What force behind that right hand, Joe? We'll see, look, Maxayo went to the body, or uh, Hermosillo went to the body with that left hand to the liver, and of course Maxayo countered. You know, look, he's capable of boxing and pressing. A couple of big right hands that clock Hermosillo. Ooh. Back comes Hermosillo trying to close the distance. But he's got to do things like that. There's a big right hook, and he literally... Charged back the jaw of Matsayo. He's been landing solid punches throughout this whole fight. And Mosillo is just kind of a workman like, landed a good body shot. He worked a couple of shots to the head, and Mosillo then dropped that left uppercut right into the liver. The power punch, that's where he feels comfortable. Ooh, see, there's that left hook from Matsayo. Matsayo. Yeah. Towards the end of the fourth there where he could have been working. There's a big right hand, another one that connected upon Hermosillo from Maxayo. That's not working well. In a moment, we are halfway through this featherweight main event. Yeah, well, here we go. Here's a little missed right hand, but he stepped in with the jab. That was an awkward looking looking move by Maxayo, but it was effective. All right, here we go. Here's that, you know, step back and then step back, and then he made a nice little turn and tried to land that fight at, uh, right hand again. But I would want, if I were in the corner, I'd want you to win every second of the last few rounds you got, without a doubt, make it clear that you're the winner of these rounds because you're probably behind right now. So you've got to put complete pressure on, keep your hands busy, and try to, you know, put Maxile down with something, or at least hurt him with something, where it's obvious to the judges. So moments ago, Hermosillo just ate a lethal left hook on the chin of Maxile, and he ate it well and just kept coming forward. That's right. Hey, Hermosillo really over-depends on that left hand right there. See, that's three in a row right there with his left hand. Finally a hook. Four. So four left hands to one hook, two hooks. Now one that missed. Where Maxile, look, he goes to the body, he's got left hooks, right hands, straight right hands, hooks to the head, and he blends them all together in combination, so, you know. He, Mexico and the Philippines get together in boxing. It is no shortage of entertainment, and thus far that has been the case. Both men pushing each other in our main event. Favors the Mexican in Hermosillo. Yeah, and, and look, I think that was that. Oh, good, good, good combo. See, there we go. You got. Oh, and it's not a knockout. Turn around, box. No, he could have had he not bumped him. You see, Mexico kind of bumped him a little bit. Yeah, you're going to see they bang bodies here, if I'm not mistaken. Right? There is a good left hook. And then, see, Hermosillo countered with his own hook. Nice little rally again. Let's see right there, that little pump right there incurred Jet to call that uh, not a clean knockdown, but you know, body contact made him go down there. And there's a nice little hook off the left hand. He puts together more combinations, stuns the undefeated Filipino featherweight. But back comes Edward Mosia. One more round remaining. A Stephen victory. That's right. That's right. See, so I don't think Maxile really has to get in there and bang it out with him like this. But I think Freddie saw that he had him real hurt last round. And we'll see how he hurt. He had him hurt. Quick hands. Powerful. It slipped and turned and 
with it. Entertaining featherweight matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, having completed the full 10 rounds, we go to the scorecards. Judge at ringside, Ruby Badagan scores at 100 to 90 in favor of Maxayo. Judge Dr. Lou Moret scores at 96 to 94 for Hermosillo. And Judge Zachary Young scores at 96-94 for your winner by split decision. And still undefeated, Mark.